Hey y'all, it has been nine days since I tried to um, rescue my stunted seedlings that was in a bad um, seed starting mix. Um, and I want to, to show the progress. Look at these. These are the ones that I rescued. These are the ones that I haven't done anything to them. Just these are the coleus. I'm seeing if, if they made any changes and they're barely growing still. But the ones that I've up potted into better um, seed starting mix, they took right off, picked right back up. Um, here's some more over here. The tomatoes were looking a little sickly and so was the Tommy Tia's. So look how much progress we've got in nine days. I mean, it, it's they're way happier. These were looking pretty sickly. I've potted them up. So was the bee balm. I'll try to go back and find screenshots of what these looked like before. And you can see how much more progress they've made by up potting those. I mean, look at that. They're so much happier. So you can save those um, stunted seedlings if you catch them early enough and go ahead and stick them in some uh, better seed starting mix or try to take them out of the old stuff as gently as possible without disturbing the roots. And um, I did it and it worked. So I'm a happy camper. But also, our, um, I wanted to update, our local university has a plant sale once a year. Or actually, they had one um, a few weeks ago, but it was more of like tulips, I think, things like that. But I don't really grow those. I like things that bloom all summer. But look at some of these. These were $2 a piece. Look at that. These are uh, dahlias. So I've never grown these before, and I think this is something that I really like, and I'm going to start growing they're so pretty and from what I researched you just you can pinch do pinching like this flower is about spent and there's more little bud little flower buds forming you can just do top pinching and it will just keep um, putting flowers out also got some of these zinnias perfusion look at those that is different from the type of zinnias that I typically grow so I was hoping I could get some of those started and save seeds and grow a whole lot more of those next year. Those are really pretty. So I'm assuming I can just also, when the flowers are about spent, um, pinch those dead flowers off and it will just hopefully keep producing. And I've got some coleus down in here that I got there. Look how pretty. That's like a watermelon. I can't remember what it's called, but uh, fairway mix is all these different colors, but I tried to pick the ones that were these colors because I think they're really pretty. It reminds me of watermelons. And I got some, a bunch of these, if I can find one. These are the um, geranium reds, and then there's geraniums. I think I might've grabbed a couple geraniums that were a mix that I don't know what color they'll be, pink possibly. And I found these marigolds too. Look at the, Look at the color of that. That is the prettiest yellow color marigold that I think I have ever seen. It's different from the ones that I grew last year that I'm growing this year. Um, but I got a few of these so I can collect seeds from. And let's see what the name of these are. They're so pretty. Antique yellow. Man, they're pretty. It's so bright. Really, really bright yellow. Look at that. So I'll definitely save seeds from those. Um, all right, and then I started some more um, Cosmos. I've got a red, pink, and white mix that I started, as well as the candy stripe. And one thing I'm gonna do today that I wanna talk about is um, I have tree stumps out here in my yard. Let me flip around and we'll show you and how I'm going to try to fix this issue. Okay, so. Here's the stumps from the old hedge that I used to have here, these. And I can't, like this one, I could not get that sawed down. It's tough as nails. Um, I got a lot of them sawed down so I could mow easily. But I thought, what can I do to try to rot these out as well as do a dual purpose? So I went yesterday to a personal or privately owned business that sells 
um, compost and mulch and topsoil by the scoop. It's $30 a scoop. I filled my short bed truck with a scoop and a half for $45. When I say it was filled, it was completely full and it was heaping over like this on the back of the truck, like halfway up the back window. So, and I got all that for $45. You cannot beat that price because I mean, I can, if I would have bought this in Lowe's or Walmart or any box store, like by the bag, I would have paid probably quadruple, um, if not actually more than quadruple for that much um, compost. So I laid this compost out over top the stumps. There's a stump. And um, I think I'm going to get about a 32 foot long stretch by four feet wide. Um, and I've I did some research last night to try to figure out how can I um, block this in, what would be a cheaper route. And cedar is recommended to be the best type of wood for um, raised garden beds if you can't afford, you know, the Virgo. But the cedar is actually really expensive too, and I didn't want to go that route. So I found these um, garden posts. They were three inches by four inches. Um, garden, garden edging post at Lowe's for $5.08 each. So I've went and got, this is a 32 foot long by four feet wide area. And if I stack two of those on top of each other, then um, it's gonna be about seven inches tall. And um, I got all of those, I think I ended up getting 18 and that was about $97. So roughly for $140, I've got a 32 foot by four feet wide garden bed that's getting ready to get fenced in. And I'll show you what those posts look like. And then we'll get started trying to get this um, finished up and ready for planting. Y'all, on the way to the truck, I did want to show this that on my last video, I'm starting to root this um, tree here that I was going to cut the limb off anyways because I didn't see any fruit. However, when I was examining it, it actually does have a fruit and I don't know if it's going to make it or not right there that's a little peach and I did not see that whenever I decided to try to root that but we'll see if that peach holds on I don't know if it will I can't believe of all the places on this tree the one that I tried to root is growing a fruit and you don't want to do that because it might um drop the fruit to form the roots hi chicken friends hi chicken friends they got fed good yesterday y'all got macaroni and tomato juice and some scrambled eggs they got good feeding and when i pulled in today with my little timbers that i got from lowe's a dang old squirrel was over here heading toward this peach tree so that might be a problem so I did leave some um, compost in here because I wanted to get the timbers lined out first and underneath is some leftover compost down in there. Um, but when I say this bed was full, I mean, it was like that. I mean, completely full, 45 bucks. That's all it cost. And then these are the uh, se severe weather, um, treated severe weather garden post edging so five dollars and eight cents each is not bad but let's get those put up and get this bed made all right first one's going down timber so I'll have to straighten those up and um, so they can be stackable and not fall. And I think it's gonna look good. Thank you. 
Okay, uh, that's gonna be a pretty big long bed. Look at that. Ah, I love it. Okay, I actually think I'm gonna stick with the two. It's looking good, isn't it? I think I'm gonna end up doing the whole thing eventually. Maybe next spring, double it up. The hard part's gonna be trying to decide what I wanna plant in that. I shoveled this whole truck bed out just like this. It was heaping into this little barrel and I went back and forth until I got it full. <laughs> it's a good workout though. That's what we got left. I might have enough left to finish filling that other flower bed that we put um, the chicken coop droppings in and I needed to compost over anyways. Stay back. Look how handsome that baby is. Gizzy, I love you. <laughs> hey Yoda, what you got in your mouth, buddy? Yoda, Yoda. <laughs> you got a feather? <laughs> On biscuit. <gasps> Watch out. Off to the other side. And I about got my fence done on this back wall. Gonna work on this today, that section. If I can get this done and maybe try to eat lunch or something. Oh my gosh, it's cold. I know that wind was probably loud. 
Come and biscuit. That dog follows me everywhere I go. All right, let's dump her over here on this side. And then fill in any places that need filled in. Okay, this bed is officially done. That's a pretty good size bed. It's not too bad to get the compost and the boards all for under 150 bucks. It's like 140, well, $140. I like it. And hopefully it will um, serve the purpose also of rotting out those stumps underneath. And then I still had enough of compost left here and in the back of the truck that I can finish filling that bed way over here that's got um, the chicken coop stuff in that I put in there about three months ago. So I'm gonna top it off with some compost that I have left and that bed should be ready too. So this is the bed that I filled with the chicken coop. Um, stuff that I cleaned out of there, their poop and, and shavings. So we're gonna cover, top this off with, um, and I did that uh, three months ago. So we're gonna top this off with the compost and hopefully this baby will be ready to go too. Okay y'all, so I have been super busy all day. Actually all weekend, I worked super hard on the back privacy fence. I got this raised bed garden done and I took the leftover compost and put it in another garden bed. So we kind of did two garden beds at once. And um, now I gotta think about what I wanna put in that bed. I'm super excited. Um, also plucked three damn ticks off my body today. Y'all, it's tick season. Watch your body, watch your, watch your critters. Also be thinking about the weather. So I'm gonna wait in two weeks whenever we're about the first weekend of May and I'm going to look at the um, 10 day forecast. So if it's, I'll probably wait till the first Sunday in May. So the first Sunday in May, if it looks like the future 10 days are frost free, I might go ahead and start putting some stuff out in the, out in the garden. I've got a ton of stuff that needs to go out. So it's going to take me, you know, between my, my, my weekly job that I do and then the weekends, my time's off, um, to try to get everything out there in the garden on time. And, um, so we're going to kind of look at the weather. It's going to get super busy. But it's so worth it. So just stick around. We're going to transform this whole yard. We're going to make it look beautiful. It's going to be a food forest. It's going to be a flower garden. It's going to be rocking. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you again in about a week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.